Okay, I want to help small businesses get found in a Google search. So this is the area where people will come and they will start looking for a local business near them. What Google wants to do is to always give the best answer and to make sure that um, what you type in is going to be the results that you were looking for. So to get local businesses found in a local search, it's a thing called Google My Business and you should all have one of these set up. So the only businesses that cannot have a Google My Business are ones that are only online say like an e-commerce store. They do not have a physical shop front and they do not um, go and see their customers face to face. So the businesses that can have a Google My Business are a store or a retail outlet, um, a salon, or if you conduct your business from home and you let people come to your premises, or there might be a local service like a plumber, an electrician, a gardener, who goes and sees clients or customers at their workplace or at their home. So how to get more business is to get found in what we call the Google Map area. So I've typed in the search term aircon service and I want to show you something. So um, I'm up here in Brisbane and you can see in the Google Map pack the first three results are different companies that offer air conditioning. But the thing I want to look at is categories. Now this company is called Jarek and their category is air conditioning repair service. The next one, Bay Air, they're also an air conditioning repair service. And then we've got Jade Air and they're an air conditioning contractor. So there are different categories that businesses can choose that describe them the best. And you will see them next to their business name. Now, a lot of businesses will not always fill in the, the, all the categories that could, they could potentially do. Another search I did was for cleaning services. Now I've been quite vague here. And in the map pack, these are the different businesses that showed up. I've got advanced blinder window cleaning services and they're a window cleaner. I've got Bennett's services, they're a pest control service. And then I've got oven cleaning and they're a house cleaning service. So you can see here that my search term cleaning services is bringing up these different keywords in the categories as well. So the more categories you can have to describe your business, the more chance you will get, um, you will get found in a local Google search. Now, a lot of businesses don't always know what kind of categories they could potentially have. So this tool here is called Plepper, okay? And it has a free tool called Google My Business Categories. And when you scroll down, you select your language and you select your country. And there are over 4,000 categories that you can choose for your business to be. So let's say um, you're something generic, say like you're a restaurant. So you can not only choose restaurant, you can also choose the type of food that you serve as well. So you can go right down to Italian restaurant, pizza restaurant, takeaway store, and you would click as many categories as you could to describe what it is that you do. So let's stay on um, air conditioning. So I've done a search for air condition and these are the different categories that I can choose. And this is where you need to be quite specific in what is your main money making um, category. So if you are a general electrician who also does ceiling fans and lighting, um, 
as well as air conditioning, your main category would be electrician. And then you would put the backup categories to support that, such as air conditioning contractor, um, air conditioning servicing, okay? But if you are specifically an air conditioning company, then that's what you would choose. And you could put contractor. If you mainly want to do repairs and servicing, you would choose this one as your main category. If you sell air conditioning units, then you're an air conditioning store. If you're an electrician that supplies and installs air conditioners, you can actually put in supplier because you are supplying and installing them. And then you've even got down here auto air. So this would be for um, an auto electrician. All right. So always have a look at the related categories because you could be missing out on something if you don't go and see what else is available. So I am, as I said, in Queensland. Now, if you're in a cooler climate, say Melbourne, most air conditioners are reverse cycle. So you could also be a heating contractor um, or a furnace repair service or a heating equipment supplier. And then I've also got here air duct cleaning service. Now that is a main category for what I want to target. I want air conditioning, servicing, cleaning and repairs. And then there's that category electrician. So it's always a great category to have as my second or third category. So that, you know, if I am on site, um, you know, and people say I want some lights or fans installed, it's like, yeah, well, we are electricians, we can do that. So I hope that makes sense about looking at your different categories. So I'll show you what it looks like on my website. Okay, so I've gone over to my air conditioning cleaning Google My Business. And in the section info, if I click on that, that is showing me the different categories that I can select for my Google My Business. And so I have, I've put air conditioning contractor as my first category. And then the backup categories I have is electrician, HVAC, air cleaning, air conditioning repair shop, and air conditioning system supplier. If I wanted to add a new category, it is as easy as clicking that pencil button and then just selecting add another category. Okay, now sometimes Google will not let you put in the category that you want. Um, it might even reject what it thinks you are. Sometimes it will only allow some businesses to have a fixed address you offer a certain service. So a mobile service cannot put in some categories. And um, I've also done the same here. This is a deck building company. So they are carpenters and they build. So my main category is deck builder. My second category is carpenter. My third category is landscaper. Now, a great additional category for me would be something like carports and pergolas. And so this is where I would click on that and then click apply. And then hopefully it would let me. So I hope this has helped you to make the most of your Google My Business. So go to this tool here, Plepper. I'll just scroll up and you can choose what um, type of business it is that you are and see what comes up. There is limitless possibilities of what you could possibly be and there could be so much extra money on the table that you're not getting because you haven't filled in every available category that you could be on your business. So again, I've popped in the search term carpenter. Look at all the additional ones. I could have handyman, kitchen, roofing, construction, um, electrician, not really, general contractor, flooring. So these are all the types of things that I could 
also add as a subsequent category. They don't always have to be an exact match, but they do have to relate to what it is that you do. I hope that helps. You will get so much more business if you have as many categories as possible selected for your Google My Business.